Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues. So, from the title, or the thumbnail, or whatever, the description maybe even, we're going to play as New Vegas. However, within Old World Blues, I have installed a few mods as we play as New Vegas. Now, I'm not playing as a Carrier 6 mod right now. In time, I will. But for right now, we're going to play as New Vegas with nothing really changed here. Just keep it all default. And no historical AI focuses. And let us begin. Now, I've installed three mods. I believe I installed the Arroyo mod. So we might see the chosen one here. Um, we also have the Iron Alliance mod here as well under B Bullet Eater. And... Surprisingly, I actually installed the Vault City mod, or Vault Tech mod, as well. So we'll see maybe more from Lynette. Anyways, uh, I had someone suggest to me to play as New Vegas and go down the Benny route. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do our first focus in 2065. House predicted that a, um, that a nuclear exchange between the U.S. and China would take place within the next 15 years and decided to put all of his resources into protecting his home city of Las Vegas. He had his own hotel, Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radar jamming systems, missile arrays, a laser defense network, and life support systems. Awesome. Now, uh, I could... Oh, wow, five research slots. Very generous, very generous. We are advanced as well, which is really good to uh, be. Um, concerning this, uh, I'll be honest, this wasn't my first choice of a mod for me to play. I was trying to play for today, for a while, as the Minutemen in the East Coast mod. Oh, but unfortunately, the mod just kept crashing. So I do apologize. It looks like I'm probably going to be mostly just using robots, which is fine with me. Uh, yeah. Um, I really want to play as a Minutemen, but I, I just kept trying to get the mod to work and work and work, and it just would refuse to work. So that's why we're playing as New Vegas. Because, you know what, I haven't played as New Vegas before on this channel. I've, I've barely even tried New Vegas in my own personal time, either. So, it'll be an interesting experience for all of us. But someone did, su did suggest that I should play as... Benny. So, that is what we're going to try to do. 16 combat width, protectrons. That's not bad. Protectrons aren't bad, especially in the beginning. I like the mixture of these, especially if you have a little bit of logistic companies. You have 20 armor, but these guys have... 17 and a point eight. If I re remove that, the armor still goes up a little bit more. Uh, what am I producing currently? Let's see. Which one is which? I want to say Securitrons are heavy. Uh, this is a problem with robotics. I don't exactly remember which one's which. So Advanced Robots, and D Mr. Gutsies, Protectrons. We should probably research this n pretty soon. Um... A combat robots. Well, I'm not exactly sure, so we're gonna produce some of that. Probably need some of this. Probably need. We might need a little bit of that. And go ahead and create a mixture. Six, eight, forty percent. Six, eight, forty percent. Looks like Mr. Gutsies are better overall. Do that and then do that. Eventually, over time, I will add in planes because those will be very important to do. Put on more production for this, just because we'll need more. I think those are the heavy robots. Securitron detail. We're going to need some infantry. We don't have a ton of manpower, obviously. 46,000. Not a whole lot. But we'll take what we can get. Uh, Protectron divisions. Uh, 90 soft attack. Let's see. Comparatively. Th so this is a mixture between the heavy and light. They definitely have more soft attack. Um, definitely more s hard attack. More defense. The... Light robots have way less breakthrough, which I do not like whatsoever. They use almost double the supply, a little bit less than double the supply. Oh, double the weight, which I don't like either. Has way more HP, but they actually have less armor, even if I take off this one. So, you know what, let's, let's have a good mixture. Alright, go to Nellis. Alright, not much that we can really do here. Disable backstory decisions. That's alright. Go ahead and come to... I could ally with the Great Cons. Someone did recommend that I do ally with the Great Cons, but whatever. If I could take someone out, that'd be great. We get about one political power a day. Now, I was c contemplating as playing as the Washington Brotherhood, but I don't have a lot of 
time when I chose this, so I will eventually play as the Washington Brotherhood as well as the Western Brotherhood. So don't worry, we've got plenty enough time in Old World Blues and Hearts of Iron 4 for me to go over all of these countries multiple times, as long as I've got enough time, which I really don't have enough time. But regardless, we're still going to play. The Great War. There was only ever one constant in Vegas, and it was change. I was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stop every missile. Prioritize prote protecting the suburbs for more civilian workshops, or my laser defense targeted missiles headed for military industry. Uh, for now, let's get some more civilian workshops. I think that'd be pretty good. Incomplete OS. Following the valiant defense of New Vegas, House was thrown into a violent coma, and the majority of his data and robots found themselves corrupted and inoperable for the following decades, silent protectors and capable of movement or thought. When House returned to consciousness, he had cho choices to make. Did he dare attempt to salvage his more advanced OS, or did he simply fall back on a more stable version? I love these RPG elements. Uh, we will be doing, though, new management, probably. And then do the Joker, which we get Benny. Very nice. Uh, we need the National Spirit of Chairman, so that's actually good for us to look at with new, under new management. Even though I have, I've played this before in my own time, but I did play as House, I believe. Looks like a, some very fun things. Ah, uh, yes, man. Ah, uh, very good. Without the Platinum Chip, I couldn't upgrade my Securitrons or my defenses. Numerous power cuts, rapid data corruption, and a coma were the result of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice. Were using an older and very stable version of my pre-war OS, like what I'm doing with Hoi4 right now, or attempting to salvage and use an incomplete OS, which was designed to be more capable of addressing wasteland threats. Uh, stable? Stability? Ooh, I like that organization research speed. Or... More soft attack, hard attack, more defense... But division organizations go down, and research speed goes down as well. Oh, that's soft attack, and hard attack, and defense. Defense is going to be extremely important for us. Now I must go back here. So let's say we lose 10% organization. Let's say we lose 10%. Right now it's 35, which is actually way less than this. Hmm. I'm going to stick with this for now still. What happens if I take this off? Yeah, I'm going to fix this combat with in the future. Um, oh, 10%. That's like 3 if it's like 30%. 4 or 40%. But here you get plus 15%. So 10%. If you have 40%, you get 4 more. You get even faster research speed. Here you get more heart attack defense. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with something stable. Let's be a little bit stable for now. You know what? Because I've, I've got an idea how we're going to win this campaign, whatever we do. So three families, hope, house hopes to rebuild the world, and to do so, he has, he has to start by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with the three great casinos that once rivaled his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for such establishments, those who can be easily controlled, and bring Vegas the moxie it's going to need in the future. Awesome. Oh, so I haven't told you about the direction that this, that this uh, and you know what, we'll make one of these two. Get rid of that the direction of how far we're going to go with this campaign. I'll be honest, I have no idea. Nice. Combat robots, support robots, Mr. Gutsy's Securitrons. Yep, we're making Mr. Gutsy's, yeah. Better than Protectrons. Um, yeah, we're barely making any of those. Put you up there. That's probably the most important to do. Awesome. Before the war, Las Vegas was a city of dreams where fortunes were won and lost in an instant. To recapture that feeling and reap the profits, to draw a crowd from across the wasteland and bring with them bright neon lights, I need to reopen the casinos and they need families to run them. Vegas shall become the shining jewel of humanity's future. Awesome. With New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas did not happen quickly, and between spending money hunting for this or his precious platinum chip and micromanaging the families of the Strip, House has found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did find the time and money to invest in Vegas itself. Very surprising. Reopening Gomorra. My first priority in my quest to rebuild Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the dreads who squatted in it for centuries. The outskirts could wait. The immediate area surrounding the Lucky 38, the coveted Vegas Strip, was fiercely contested by two tribes. Both Slitherkin and the Great Khans had a focus on drugs, and their shared business made them competitors and enemies. It was clear to me that I would have to choose one group over the other to if I desired to unite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial proposition to both groups came up lukewarm, with the prideful great cons rejecting me outright and Slitherkin dubious to my intentions. Then, the fiercest fighting between the, two, between the two began, and I saw my opportunity. No doubt the tribe of my choosing would see reason after my secure
Curatrons ejected the other from Vegas permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly like the mafia used to before the Atom. However, even if I saved the Great Cons, I risked splitting them into two thanks to their stubborn Papa Khan. And as for Slitherkin, while they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Cons, they were all that much more slippery. Their envious eyes said it all. Ultimately, I made my choice. Ooh, Omertas. You get more daily political power, less population, which I don't like, better consumer... Consumer goods factories and partisans' effect on us. Reopening Ultra Lux. Consequences be damned. I would have my conate. I lose a ton of stability. Can I get that stability back? I can focus on the internal sphere in exchange for war support. Uh, yeah, you can get weekly stability back. And someone did recommend that I do this. Well, we're going to go with the cons, because screw stability. Reopening the, the Ultra Deluxe. After dealing with the largest con confrontation Vegas has ever seen, or at least in decades, I wielded my newfounded influence to great effect. Following my display of power, many disenfranchised groups approached me for support, while others made it known their op opposition to my actions. For better or worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the time, the Fiends and a group of whose name is better left unsaid. The former of the two were vicious raiders, drug addicts, and utter savages. Their leader... Motor Runner had a kind of criminal intelligence about him, and he had reigned supreme in Vegas's ruined southern portions for years. However, despite their reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so, cannibals. That's what they were. Devourers of the human body's forbidden fruits. Ooh. They squatted in Vegas's peak of refinement, the Ultra Lux, and hid from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either I beat the cannibalism out of my neighbors, or had the fiends show them how delectable their own innards were. Oh, crap. I can't remember now. Who should I choose? Trade deals or fiends? Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, man. I want to say... Uh, the White Gloves formal invitation. Uh, you know what? We're all about trading and making money for now. So having trade deal opinion factors sounds like a good idea. And it could really use as many factories as possible, right? Yeah. So I, I apologize if this is not the choice you want. I can't remember. Awesome. And next up, expansion, inward or outward. My new Vegas was slowly coming together despite my early awakening, but decisions remained. I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas and a poor free side, or I could attempt to include all of Vegas into my grand vision. Uh, civilian workshops and arms workshop, or improving outer Vegas. Well, before we make any ch thing here, where is that infrastructure? Resor uh, resources. Not bad. Well... That, that mode's okay. All right, you gotta wait. So, let's say, if I improve this area out here, I get improve Ruby Hill, Jacobstown, and Nellis Air Force Base. I could get a few more resources, which wouldn't be bad, but we would have, at least for now, enough scrap metal. I think I'm going to go with New Vegas. Let's focus on New Vegas and reopening the Tops. After cleaning up the Ultra Lux for better or for worse, I had one final casino to staff, the Tops. In its prime, the Tops was a place for the respectable middle-class working man. It did not offer carnal pleasures like its neighbor Gamora, nor were its drinks as expensive as cigars like in the Ultra Lux. It was a place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was populated with class acts. My Vegas needed that a place for the common people. And to recreate that feeling of comfort, I need a classy crew. Thankfully, Vegas had no shortage of suave individuals looking to shortchange their fellow man. Two groups stuck out to me amongst the rest. The, bo the Boot Riders and the Kings. The former were a tribe of nomads who, at a first glance, had nothing to do with pompadours and big band. However, an upstart among the ranks, Benny was looking to shake things up and modernize the group. On the other hand, although rambunctious and rowdy, the kings were already everything I needed and more. The stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough. It was time to make a swing for New Vegas. Benny's intelligence, hmm, chairman. Oh, we lose population when we choose him? Oh, no. The king ooze old world style. You don't get any... I, I'm already losing stability, but I said I would choose Benny. So we're going to go with the chairman. I just get daily political power at in exchange for manpower. So let's go ahead. We can do the ultra luxe civilian workshops, arms workshops, building slots. The false cons, the Almertas. Uh, oh, I can attack them. Oh, that'd be so much fun to attack them. Oh, man. I probably want to do Gamora first, so that way I can get to 
these guys as quick as possible for the great cons. They have quite a bit of manpower, way more than us, but we actually have Securitrons and uh, pretty, pretty good robots. They might not be tasty robots, but they'll still be pretty good. But anyways, let's go ahead and choose new management. Robert House is a relic of the past, a fool who doesn't understand the wasteland or the lives of the people within it. It takes ambitious minds to bring New Vegas under new management, but thankfully there is no shortage of such minds in the city of sin. Mm, I love that sinful city. Um, right now, we need more of these, but we can make more of these, so go and do that. Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll do that first. I definitely need a little bit more energy. I don't mind trading away at least one for now. Do that. Okay, we're still building civilian. Uh, civilian workshop's worth it. I think it'd be worth it. We can still trade stuff away if we need to. And we can still use it properly anyway. So, not bad, not bad. One a week, 1.27 a week. That's not great. That's not bad. Uh, I only have three divisions. Well, we need a lot more infantry equipment for infantry. For these guys, you need a lot. Oh, you need support equipment too. And for you guys, you just need support robots. I'm going to probably emphasize this first. You know what? Emphasize that. That is probably what we're going to do. At least get the robots out there. Because in the beginning, it really doesn't matter that much. <sighs> I eventually want to make some better Securitrons. But we'll see what happens. Organized agriculture. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get to Securitrons Mark 2. Nope. Can't do that. Try to click several times. And it's a no-go. Reinforce rate. So be it. So be it. Resource-wise, or at least logistics-wise, we need a ton of these. About building the same amount every day. That's good. Infantry equipment will come along. Obviously, as New Vegas, you don't have a lot of material, but, you know, that's okay. Eventually, I will take over Vault 3. Probably Dam Busters, Desert Rangers, Declare One Jackal. Uh, Washington Brotherhood is having an okay time over here. They took out that little area up north. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I always forget that Umbra is quite large, at least relative to the Western Brotherhood, because I don't remember this yeah, that's quite a bit of territory. My cat's outside my room wanting to come in, but I already told him. You ain't going to disturb me right now, Binky. No, 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 no. Um, uh, scouts. Uh, robotics. That's really where things are at. But we're already doing plane stuff, which is good. Really good, because I really want to emphasize planes in this uh, playthrough. Scrap motorcycle's not bad. We're doing that. Industry. Anything else for industry right now? Uh, energy cell gain. We Yeah, let's do that one. 30 days, multi-purpose equipment, because we're going to be using a lot of energy cells. And I might research producing... What was it? Power stations. Power stations. Because you're definitely going to need those. Like, even when I played as uh, Kaisar's Legion, there goes the Pale Folk, uh, even playing as the Brotherhood of Mars, which was a great campaign, I was running out of energy cells with that massive Air Force. And that's how you win. That's how I win in Old World Blues. You just get the biggest baddest air force known to man is just so good so good uh yep yeah, you're set to reinforcements oh man we need so many reinforcements we need so many combat robots support robots and equipment uh, i don't want to do this um i need i need at least one more division in the field because right now if i were to attack the great cons they really wouldn't be able to beat me so at least we're hopefully getting some robots here uh new management Nice. more Even more daily political power. Let's go ahead and go with the Joker for more daily elite support. And then we'll switch over to getting ready to go to war with the cons. So, Benny's been with the house since the beginning, and there's been no doubt as to who's the major domo in New Vegas. The Joker isn't without his tricks, however. He's the wild card, and he intends to prove it by shaking up the status quo. You bet your hindquarters we're going to be shaking some things around here. Uh not bad. Doing a slightly better. Oh, going up to point three. Delightful. Yeah, keep making more uh, gutsies. Multi-purpose equipment. Very good. Ah, uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Conversion bonus. Energy cell gain. Multi-population. Let's do seed selection. That's always good to do. How many resources have I, or power stations have I built? Well, let's take a quick look. We can't see from there. So right here we have civilian workshops, civilian arms, Filling workshops. None. Okay. How about New Vegas proper? They got a couple outposts. They got a fort. The the uh, the brain well, hello? Are you a symbol of Christ? Um the brain. Oh. Okay. They're restoring the council. Um I really I I've, I've not played with the Voltec mod before, so that's why I really wanted to try it out with you guys to see what would happen. 
Uh, very interesting, very interesting. How is the Iron Alliance doing over here? They're not doing much. The Bullet Eater. They've got hope. They've got far from home, the Great Migration, Reckless Aggression. First floor. Oh. Better be taken in the early game as it provides flat bonuses to tech trees. Danger from the south. Brothers from the Rockies. Interesting. Third floor. Origin over culture. Second thoughts. The compromise. Nice. Gliders. Awesome. Immediately go for this. Motorized flight. I love having five research slots. It's so good. Uh, where do I want to go with this? Yeah. Encryption. Oh, man. I was so used to seven-day focuses. They're so good. Now I'll have to wait 60 days. Oh, actually. Focus on the internal sphere. Uh, I already have pretty low war support anyways. I want to get rid of civilian economy, but I can't do that. No. How about over here? Beloved personality. Mr. Vegas. Michael Angelo. So, oh, civilian construction speed bonus. Can't do that. Can't... I need to complete the chairman focus for more encryption, decryption... Omertas. Oh, the White Glove Society. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, maybe I chose the wrong one. Majori. Majori. Uh, what else do I choose here? We already have logistic companies, but I can't research ahead of time. Uh, Bailey, basic melee weaponry would be kind of a waste. Anything over there? No. Naval stuff would be a complete waste. I could do blimps. Actually, maybe I should do blimps. Maybe I should try blimps out this time. Maybe I should try that. Uh, specialized Doctrine, uh, I, I, I guess. There's really no point to not do it right now. But internal repair, supply consumption goes down. That's actually going to be very extremely important. Effective Partisans, the False Con, Motor Runner. Oh, daily, oh no, Army XP gain. That's pretty good. What about here, Military Theorist, that could be conventional warfare. We're not going with conventional warfare. I don't like that. Army XP gain. Oh, I like this. Reversed, reserved AI. Tim's tanks, combat reliability, power armor. I want to change it, but I can't. Benny. Ah, uh, this is the only thing we can do. I can get more recruitable population factor, more stability, and more war support. But civilian construction speed, 10% more right now sounds really good. But army experience gain. Because right now we're doing what? We're doing automated warfare. We're not doing conventional warfare. So that's kind of a waste. Even though I could really use that army XP. Even though I really don't need it that much. I don't really need it that much. So let's go ahead and do civilian construction speed. Since let's, we want to build some stuff up, right? Exactly. Cool. We did the Joker. We could do a family man. We lose daily political power, but that's okay. We already got a bonus to it. Benny's thugs. Uh, Gamora. Let's do Gamora. They're both 60 days. I do, definitely want to go to the false cons. Gamora. When the strip's other casinos were refined, the Gamora's rough around the edges and coarse as it offers sleazy sex for sale. Ooh. Top of the attractions list is prostitution, then booze and drugs, and finally, good old gambling. Nothing like good old prostitution to make a quick buck. Awesome. Uh, gliders, well, we won't... I guess I could put you on the line. Doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, definitely increase this by that much. Uh, we definitely need to focus. Uh, we need a oh, I want to make more. I want to make more. Yeah, next up for political power. I'm probably going to expel the Rift Raft. That's probably for the best. You really don't lose too much. Maybe except a little bit of political power. But you get more weekly stability, which I think is very, very, very important. Especially in the early game. That's very important. Uh, robotics Genius. Very nice. Stable OS. Love it. False cog Cognite. Maybe they misspelled that. Let's see, what else can we do? Mm. I guess we'll develop motorcycles for our robots. Don't know if we really need that. We don't have any spare planes in reserve, and we have no navy. Why would a robot be on water? Good question, why would it be on water? Let's see, ruler, going down daily, going to the elites. Good stuff, good stuff. The Joker, of course. We have political potential coup. Chairman. The White Gloves. False Cognate. Oh, nice. Whoops. I might have skipped two days. Human Targeting Firmware. Uh, we'll do that, I guess. And then, of course, Dynamic Tactics Integration. More Breakthrough Organization and Max Speed. Very nice. Now, we got to make a decision here. Or, I've got to make a decision. Quantity or quality? For quantity, we get less supply use, which is good. 
more breakthrough, which is extremely important, and more hardness and armor, which is very, very important, or quantity. So we also get less supply use, which is for the entire army, which is great. They get less soft attack, for we can make more, and even less soft attack. I'm going to have to say that's a nah for me, dog. I think I went, last time when I played with Power Armor, too, I went with Quality, just because that breakthrough, that armor, and that hardness, you're going to need more of that. But I'm also making infantry just in case. Uh, combat situations, or simulations, that's pretty good stuff. Wasteland, autonomy, we'll come back to this after we do Gamora. The False Cons. When Mr. House emerged from his slumber, he found two gangs fighting for control of the Vegas streets. House threw his weight behind the cons, allowing them to defeat the Omertas for control of the streets. The cons were thankful for the help, but did not want to serve House no matter how much he bribed them. Instead, they left the city. At, that is all but a small group of the cons who now advise New Vegas, in which we get better just by Wargold's times. And the False Con, division attack plus 10%. Hallelujah. Which, once we do that focus, we can probably produce maybe one more division or spawn a division out. Ooh, we need more infantry equipment there. Uh, we just need more support robots there. But then we can attack these guys. And that would actually increase our capabilities of five more military factories, which would be great. Three more civilian factories, which would be great as well. Uh, let's see. Con culture. Good. Con war bands, they get more attack, which is not good, but they get more recon, which isn't good for us either. They get more monthly population. Unbreakable spirit. Huh. More attack on core territory. Pretender con in New Vegas. Ooh! They can be removed by being in a faction with New Vegas, occupying New Vegas, or New Vegas ceasing to exist. That's good to see. Monthly population con uh, construction speed. All right. I'm really running out of things to research right now. Uh, dynamite. I don't. I really don't want to research naval stuff. That'd be kind of a waste. So let's go ahead and come back here, and we'll quickly do division training time. Cause why not? Build, 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 my friends, build. Yeah, I'm not even going to build scrap motorcycles. I don't think we really need those right now. Four, almost four and a half gutsies a week. That is making me feel better, guys. That is definitely making me feel better. Almost three guns a week as well. Hmm. Oh, we have a hundred political. Power. Let's go ahead and get more weekly stability because if we have low stability, that hurts our daily political power gain as well as output. And we want as much output and political power as possible. Because I'm, I'm thinking of a long game here. Oh, oh, Iron Lines declared one of the Iron the Wither Dogs. Motorized flight, very good. Ooh, hello there. Land Doctrine. I don't want to do that. We need. How do we. Tribal Scout Kit. Well. Oh, we're going to need to do one of those. Vegas, flexible designs. Very good, very good. This research speed is so good. 31, just do it anyways. It's not that long. And besides, we'll we'll research this bef hopefully before 2276. So that'll be great. Good. Getting better, getting better. We get 0.54. For political power a day, mostly because we take a expel the rift wrath focus and our stability isn't very good, but we're working on that. Uh, research two more days until we have unobstructive piloting. Good. And mission interception defense. The false con. Now we gotta really build up our political power. Ooh. I wanna take him out as fast as possible. Ah, oh, the cause was annexed by the Washington Brotherhood. Alright. Good, 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 good. Oh, we can't do this. We need military high command. Wow. Plus 20% stability and war support and reinforce rate. Very nice. The tops. Can't do the kings because I told him not to. Chairman, encryption, decryption. That's not bad. I like Benny's new deal. Civilian workshops. We can't do the consigliers, which I can never pronounce correctly. Whatever. Oh, just fight work all the time on us. Whatever. I think I actually chose the right one. The White Glove Society seems pretty good. Abandon... I almost said capitalism. Cannibalism. Ooh, the human banquet. So, we're left with the left side of the tree. We need more thugs, I would say. Infantry. Planning speed. Friends in low places. Friends in high places. Uh, wrong package. Ain't that a kick in the head. The Nevada Pact. Family man. I want as much... Oh, goodness. I need that. In I need all that stuff. I'm not going to side with either side right now. So, let's go ahead and get... Benny's thugs for now. A motley crew of cons and chairmen, Benny's thugs get the job done with a level of professionalism not common in New Vegas or anywhere else in the wasteland. 
So how long would it take for me to kill off the cons? I can't. Never mind. Never mind. I have an aggression pact with them. And how do we cancel that? You cannot cancel it before January 24th, which actually isn't so bad. That gives us time to get more political power. Can I go to war with these guys? Vault 3. I need quite a bit more political power. And lasts almost for a year. Ooh! Okay, the Broken Coast declared war on Haida Confederation. How's the war going between the Iron Alliance and Withered Dogs? The dogs aren't winning. Uh, how's the... Okay, the Desert Rangers won. The Washington Brotherhood's looking a little large-ish. A little large. Also, I want to let you know, I was looking at playing the Shattered Wasteland mod, but, uh... It's not updated to patch 1.7.1. .1, so that's why I didn't choose that. I was thinking about playing that, but... Didn't happen. Didn't happen. <clears throat> nice. 27% stability... Benny's Thugs is doing well. Daily Joker Elite support. So, we're just kind of hanging out here now. Oh, it looks like our divisions are actually doing better. We're actually producing or getting more equipment to the divisions that need it. This is looking good. This is looking better. We need more support robots for our divisions. But that's okay. That's totally, totally okay. Put you on medium for now. I want to finish this up as fast as possible. We only need eight. We might need seven now. We might need five. Good, 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 good stuff. How's our factories coming along? We're going to have another factory soon. That'll be great. We traded one away, of course, because we needed more energy. And you know what? We still need more energy. Uh, we have the Securitron AI. He's level 3. That ain't bad. 0.6 a day. We're doing better. We're doing better. We're doing better, which is awesome. Come on, Benny Slugs. We got... Oh, we get two more. Oh, there goes Twisted Hairs. Ooh, 50 more political power. Focus on the eternal sphere. I don't want to lose any more weekly war support. I really, really don't. I'm going to save up my political power now. Ah, Benny Slugs. Very good. Let's go ahead and do... Hired help. Now and then it takes an expert to make great things happen. Thankfully, a genius by the name of Mr. Awesome has approached Benny on a recent job offer extended to him by outsiders and is looking to feed the, ma the man insider information for a reasonable price. We get more decryption and planning speed. And right now, just because... Uh, I'm going to put them all under the Securitron AI, just because it might make things a little easier. They're just regular infantry. That's good. I just want them to help cover up the line. That's why I did that focus first. Ah, it's only three political power. I'm going to do it. Yeah, Callahan. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to go with offensive, because I usually do that for a little bit more attack. And where are we at? Uh, it's only 2275 in about a month, a little bit more than a month. We can go ahead and justify on them, which will be a great, great thing. If I want to go to war with these guys still, it takes only 230 days. If I were to take over the Fiends, they don't have nearly as many resources. And besides, if I take out the Great Khans, let's see, let's be real. The Eastern Grand Tribes or the Grand Tribes probably won't go to war with me, nor will uh, the Sorrows, White Legs, or Sky Reavers, I hope. So, that's why I'm doing that. I'll go and do basic tools. That would be great. We got 23 factories now. It looks like we finished up that civilian factory. Great. Just keep building, guys. Just keep on building. Right now, it looks like our reinforcements are pretty much done, which is awesome. Do that. Do that. Yeah, make sure we get at least a few more divisions out, no matter what they are. We could potentially get some motorized divisions, which are six uh, motorized battalions. Uh, political power. Okay, so in about 21 days, 20-ish days... We can justify on the Great Cons. Nice. Tribal Scout Kits. Let's go back to Industry. No Engineering for more research speed. Okay, Dynamic Tactics Integration, in which I'm going to go with Quality. Awesome. And I still can't go to war with them, and we need to cancel this pact very, very soon. I'm glad I have all this political power now. It's very nice. And... I still can't get more daily stability, which isn't great, but whatever. Come on, I want to cancel this pact. They have up to six divisions, which, concerning with what we have, we should be okay. Local workspace is very nice. I love little markets. Little markets are great. Go ahead and do some more uh, monthly population. Great cons. Oof. We should be okay if we're defending. Should be okay. Airbase raids, very nice. Come back to engineering. Do reinforce rate. Thank you very much. Come on, I don't want to cancel the non-aggression pact so badly. I can't do it. We need 200% of their divisions along a common border. We only have 150%, which means after I'm done with this focus with hired help, which we'll do tomorrow, we're going to have to get more divisions, and then we can cancel the non-aggression pact. But maybe in the meantime, maybe in the meantime, 
we might go to war with Vault 3. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the first episode of me playing as New Vegas. As I plan a coup as Benny to take out the surrounding areas. With that in mind, though, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. If you're really new to my channel, check out my Discord link below. And I thank you for watching this video. And I hope you all have a great, great day.